All right, so the draw for Madrid has come out for the men now, and we've got some crazy potential third, fourth, and quarterfinal matches, but also some interesting first-round opponents as well for some of the unseated players that we're all really keen to see, especially Rafa Nadal. Let's go have a look at who's not playing this event, because we actually do have some big names not playing. Okay, so here are the names that are not playing. So Kazo, he's pulled out. McDonald, he's also pulled out. Djokovic, of course, not playing in this one. He's pulled out. Chilich, also avoiding this event because of uh, recovering from injury. Andy Murray's injured, so he's not going to be here. Chera is also out. And Berrettini is the latest to withdraw from this event, a former finalist here as well. So those are the withdrawals. Big names that are not going to be playing in this draw. So we've got... 32 seeds in this one, and every seed gets a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, the number one seed, the biggest, I think the highest seed he's been in one of the biggest tournaments that uh, that he's been in, the first time in a 1,000, I think. He is the number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Sonigo or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Kotov. Winner of that will take on the number 32 seed, Thompson, in the second round. Then you've got the number 22 seed, Jarry, buy in the first round. He'll take on either Tabillo or Kaboli in the second round. Then you've got Gallon taking on a qualifier. The winner will take on the number 16 seed, Hashinov, in the second round. So not a bad draw for Sinner. I don't think it's a bad draw. I think there's obstacles, but I don't think it's unbeatable. Of course, of course you've got to watch out for Sinner in this section. Uh, Hashinov as well, very capable on clay. Also, Jarry. We all know what he can do on clay and could be a really uh, awkward opponent for some of the seeds in this section. Okay, next section of the draw, we've got number nine seed Dimitrov gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Hampman or Menzik in the second round. Then you've got Nishioka taking on Oji Aliassim, winner to play uh, the number 19 seed Manorino. Then you've got the number 29 seed Nori. It's by the first round. He'll take on either Mikkelsen or Fonseca. Of course, Fonseca, one of the whiz kids going around. And then you've got Zong taking on Kichmenovic, winner to play the number five seed Rude in the second round. So again, an interesting section. Of course, Dimitrov, you've got to watch out for him. Uh, obviously, Kasper Rude, who just won the biggest title of his career and made a final a couple weeks ago in Monte Carlo as well. So... Uh, one of the best clay court players in the world. Definitely got to watch out for him. Next section of the draw, we've got number three seed Medvedev gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of O'Connell or Arnaldi in the second round. Then you've got Purcell taking on Giron. Winner of that will take on the number 25 seed Quarter in the second round. Then you've got the 17 seed Bublik. He'll take on either Kopfer or Bayana in the second round. Then you've got Mahash taking on Rusevori. Winner to play the number 14 seed Shelton in the second round. And this section's interesting because it's got a bunch of like, I guess, non-clay court guys. I know Medvedev last year was Klaivedev, but Medvedev, you know, he's not, he doesn't like playing on clay. It's not his favorite surface. So you've got to watch out for Medvedev. You've got to watch out for Shelton. Uh, I'll be watching out for Korda as well, especially when he plays Medvedev. For some reason, he just gives Medvedev nightmares. But I wouldn't be surprised if we had maybe an unseated player from this section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got the number 10 seed, Diminor. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Blanche and Rafa Nadal. So Rafa Nadal taking on a 15-year-old wild card from America. And then the second round, he's got to play Diminor. Just like he did last week, have to play Diminor in the second round at Barcelona. So really tough draw for, uh, for Rafa. Uh, then you've got Cashin taking on Ovna, winner to play the number 20 seed, Tiafo. Then you've got the 30th seed, Lehechka. He's played qualifier in the second round because two qualities are going at it. Then you've got Lajevic taking on a qualifier winner to play City Pass, the number six seed in the second round. Uh, and Lajevic to play City Pass in the second round. We saw that last week. The big name to watch out for, obviously, you got to watch out for City Pass. He won Monte Carlo and uh, made the final Barcelona last week. you got to watch out for Rafa. Even if he's playing against Demon, you still got to watch out for Rafa. And you got to watch out for Demon as well because we do know that uh, Demon beat Rafa last week. Uh, and I would also be looking for Lajevic because he is in some form. And for some reason, this time of year, he always plays well on the clay. And this section of the draw will take on the Sinner section. So we could be getting Sinner versus City Pass. If we're going by the seeds, or Sinner versus Medvedev, if we're going by the big seeds, uh, we could be getting Sinner versus Demonor. If you want to go something a little different, or if you want to dream big, it could be Sinner versus Rafa. If you don't think Sinner's going to make it, maybe you go with City Pass Rude, who have played the last couple of weeks on clay. Uh, maybe you go with uh, Rude versus Medvedev. If you want to go something a little different, don't believe in the big boys. A really open section, but you would think that the guys that can play on clay, those three big boys that I talked about, Sinner, Rude, and City Pass, will be the favorites to get out of this half. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Hercatch. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Draper in the second round. Then you've got Altmaier taking on Landolucci, winner to play the number 31 seed, Feast, in the second round. Then you've got Baez, number 18 seed. He'll take on either Van Aish or Burge in the second round. Then you've got Dadiri taking on Monfils, winner to take on the number 12 seed, Fritz, in the second round. This is an interesting section. Very interesting section. Again, kind of like that Medvedev section. It's a little bit open. Uh, you got to watch out for Fritz. Made a final last week in Munich. Also Baez, a very capable clay quarter. And also Hercatch, of course, being the top seed in this section. 
uh, and very capable. Uh, Draper, her catch, second round. That could be awkward for her catch. Also, Monfils, the veteran. you got to watch out for him as well. Uh, possibly uh, you know, possibly one of the last times he's going to be here. All right, next section of the draw, we've got the number 15 seed, Paul. He'll take on a qualifier in the second round because two qualities are going at it. Then you've got Carrots have taken on Marajan, winning to play the number 21 seed, Sarundolo, in the second round. Then you've got the 26 seed, Echeverry. He'll take on either Diaz, Acosta, or Shapovalov in the second round. Then you've got Chorich taking on a qualifier winner to take on the number four seed, uh, Zverev, in the second round. So very interesting section. Again, open section. You know, Zverev the favorite, but there are other players that can play on clay. Uh, watch out for Zverev, of course. I'd be watching out for Echeverry as well. Very capable on clay. Uh, even Sarundolo, watching out for him as well. Pretty much everybody in this section you've got to watch out for because uh, it is pretty open. It is a pretty open section. Zverev should get through, though. Or the bottom uh, quarter of the draw, I should say. Uh, number seven seed, Rublev, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Evans or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Zong taking on another qualifier, winner to play the number 27 seed, Fakina, in the second round. Then you got the 24th seed, Greeks boy. He'll take on either Vukic or Daniel in the second round. Then you got Navone taking on Poprin, winner to play the number 11 seed, Runa, in the second round. This might be probably the, more, the most stacked section because, of course, you've got two big names there with Rublev and Runa, and then you're also throwing guys like Fakina, Grigspor, and even Navoni, who's proven to be on clay. Uh, that could be really awkward. So you've got to watch out for Runa. You've got to watch out for Rublev. You've also got to watch out for Kina, but I would be watching out for Navoni as well because he has proven that he can play on clay in, uh, in South America, and also I think last week uh, he didn't do too bad by making the final of Bucharest. So definitely an interesting little section here uh, for Rublev, and he's already in bad form, Rublev, so... That's the last thing he needs. And the bottom section of the draw, you've got the number 13 seed on Bear. He'll take on either Van der Zantrup or Eubanks in the second round. Then you've got Munar versus Borges. Winner of that will play the number 23 seed Struff in the second round. Then you've got the number 28 seed Musetti gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Sefulin or Vilch in the second round. Then you've got Rindanish taking on Shevchenko. Winner to play the number two seed and defending champion of the last two years, Carlos Alcaraz in the second round. And again, just one of those sections where you're like, there are obstacles, but... If Alcaraz is healthy and fit, he should get through. Uh, I wouldn't say easily, but he should get through uh, with his experience. Of course, you've got to watch out for Alcaraz in this section. You've got to watch out uh, for Umber as well. Uh, he's just, you know, he's still trying to find his feet on the clay, but once he does, we know how dangerous he can be. Also, Struff won his first title last week. Let's see how he looks um, after winning the biggest title of his career and only title of his career. And then Musetti as well, number 28 seed. Very dangerous as well. Uh, unseated players, I mean, there's not too many. Uh, maybe Vilch, you can throw in there because he has been really dangerous on clay uh, over the last couple of seasons. This section will take on that Zverev section. So we could be getting Elkris versus Zverev. We could be getting Elkris taking on Hercatch if you want to go with the big seeds. Uh, if you want to go with something different, maybe Elkris taking on someone like a Fritz who's been in form. Uh, but if you don't want to go with Elkris, maybe you're a little worried that he's injured. Or maybe you want to go with Zverev taking on Rublev. Maybe Zverev versus Runa could be uh, that semi-final. Maybe Hercatch versus Runa. If you want to go something a little different. But that's the draw. That is what it looks like. Who's going to win Madrid? It's really open, I think. You know, I think Sinner and Alcaraz, City Pass, Rude are probably the favorites. Uh, maybe he throws Zverev in there as well because he has won this before. But I don't know. It's, I mean, if Alcaraz is healthy, he should like his chances. Uh, he hasn't been on the clay in Europe yet. So it's his first European clay to court event. Yeah, I don't know. Sinner? Uh, Sinner on Madrid? I, I've always thought the last couple of weeks that Sinner and Madrid being the fastest court, uh, he could do well here. But yeah, very open section. Maybe Sidney Pass or Rude keep winning their ways. But man, what a fun draw and what an interesting draw, especially for Rafa Nadal.